Greetings everybody. So the following set of videos I'm going to do is going to be about routines. Today I want to cover this feature that you might not be using. Okay, so let's just dive on into the app. So if you haven't gone to routines yet, you have to make sure you click the three lines at the bottom that says more. If you're still using the older version of the app, then you have to go to the top left corner to click those three lines, which is going to take you into the same settings where you can find routines. So I'm going to click on routines. And once you get to routines, what I'm going to cover today is this one feature that you may or may not be using. So right below where you see your routines and featured, there's a thing that says sorted by name and A to Z, or it might say something else. But on that bar, there's a little icon with a little sorting kind of thing and a down arrow. So once you click on that, you're going to see sorted by and filtered by. Now the cool thing about this section is you can sort by last created, last updated, or routines from A to Z. Because depending on how many routines you have, you might want to sort them in whatever particular order you can to make them easy for you. Now I wish Amazon would have added a Z to A because you might have routines in the opposite order that you want to keep them in. But we're going to go with what we have. So if you say last created, once you click on that and then you click the back, you're going to see it automatically list them in the order that they were last created. You do the same thing here, last updated, hit back again, you're going to see the same scenario. And of course, A to Z is going to show you the name of the routine based on the name you give them. Now, if you click on the name again, you see there's nothing checked. So once you go back here, it's not going to be in a particular order. You're just going to see a bunch of routines on the list. So if you really want to sort it, you want to choose one of these. Now you can also filter. So if you want to filter by a particular device, all you have to do is find that device on your list and you can filter the routines that's created for that device. If I want to filter devices by the ones I speak to, I would check that box. Once I go back, it's going to show me. Now I don't have any particular device that I have assigned, so I'm going to click the X, go back to sort and again, and then I will click on, for instance, the bedroom show. Now once I click on the bedroom show, I go back, it's showing me that after the alarm, it's going to do the weather report. So I know I have that routine set up for that particular device. I'm going to click X again, go back to the sort and icon, and then let's choose another one, say the living room show. So I'm going to check that one, go back. So as you can see, I have four routines set up for that one particular device. So if the living room window is open or closed, that echo show is going to let me know. And if the back door is open and closed, it's also going to let me know by making announcement because that's what I set up that routine to do. So that goes for all devices. But what about the device that you're using right now, your cell phone? So let's go down to the bottom because that's where mine is usually located and I can click on mobile phone. If I go back, as you can see, it's going to let me know when there's motion around the front camera. So even though this is not an actual Echo device because you have the Amazon app running on your phone, then you can use it as one of the devices on your list. So basically the app make your phone one of the Echo devices on the list. And that goes for any devices that has the Amazon built in. Now, as you can see on the list, I have my DriveSmart Garmin. So if I click on that one and I go back, I don't have any routine set up for that one right now, but if it was, then it will be on that list. So that's how I use the filter to put things in a particular order, whether it's last created or last updated, or you want to put them in alphabetical order, you have that option. But if you want to narrow it down to find out which routine is assigned to a particular device, you just choose that device and it will show you any routines that's set up for it, which is an easy way to also get rid of a routine on a particular device instead of just going to the entire list because depend on how you do your routines, like me, I try to set up routine for every little thing as possible. So if you have fit to routine set up, you don't want to keep flipping through that stuff trying to find out which routine it is when you can just use the search feature based on the device that it's assigned to. Now you cannot actually search for a routine because there's no search field for that yet, but hopefully Amazon will add that into the future 
to make it easier for you to just search for a routine instead of doing this going through the list thing. So let's go ahead and put that on our wish list. Hopefully that will be in a future update as we progress through this app and Amazon try to improve it as much as possible. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanted to go over this sort and filter feature so you can see that you can actually put things in a particular order to make it easier for you to go to those routines. So if you didn't know that feature existed, now you know so you can go to and start using it. Thanks for taking the time for watching this video. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you next time.